Boom, Peace Intro, what's up guys? Well, I'm tr I probably got a bunch of boxes I can break down now. I'm, I'm finally getting somewhere, I guess, but I can't even sit down now. I got everything all messed up. Still haven't even finished getting all this stuff down. I got... Ah, whatever, man. Anyway, um, Saturday, had to work again today. Sorry I didn't get the drawing done. I need to do it now. This was this and this. Yeah, I got to stand up now. But uh, I, everybody wants to pick. So whoever, you know, first place gets to pick what you what you get. You either want this or you want this. And uh, I have some other cars. Hopefully they show up today. If so, I'll put them in here this afternoon or tomorrow, hopefully. Show it. Put them on the sticker drawing. They're awesome. Um, but... <laughs> Who knows if they'll show up or not. You know how it goes. So anyway, we'll we'll get these gave away. I got a package here from Mr. Pruce. I pulled this up. Uh little number little number wheel. And uh we'll just see what happens. And then we'll go over some things. Um I gotta get all this done though. It's just gonna take forever. I mean, I can't believe, I shouldn't have started this project. It's unbelievable. It's, oh my God, man. Anyway, um, let's see. Who's going to get first place right off the bat? Boom. Forty-five. Forty-five, Mr. Osgood. First, Osgood, number 45. You can pick whichever one, buddy. Oh, it'd be hard for me. Well, it wouldn't be hard for me. I got. I love this Porsche. I don't care about that car at all. But I hear it's a beauty. Everybody really likes it. It's got an excellent paint job. I don't know what you want, but you pick what you want. And now we'll see who's going to get what you don't pick. Second place. Boom! Oh, dang. I almost hit a button and made it go back. That would have sucked. Because somebody would have got cheated. Two! <laughs> Mr. Pruce. <laughs> wow. Man, Mr. Pruce has won two of these. If he, if he ended up with a third one, I, I don't know what he wants. But anyway. Second place, Mr. Pruce. And that figures, because I already packed up his package. I got packages ready to go. And I already bought his label, so. Um, but that's okay, Mr. Pruce, and it's a pretty big box. It's already in my trunk. Um, ah! God! Dang it! But my lips hurt really bad! <laughs> anyway, it's a nobody. Um... I put a bunch of cars in there for you, Mr. Pruce. I got a bunch more, so this, whatever you get out of this, um, <laughs> I don't know. If, if, if Mr. Osgood don't pick this awesome Porsche, then it looks like you're getting another one of these. Sorry, buddy. Um, but hey, it is beautiful. Um, golly, it is, it is so unbelievably nice. But you already know, you got two of them. Um, and Mr. Pruce, I don't know, maybe he wanted this. Maybe Mr. Pruce was trying for this because he bought a lot of stickers on this baby. But he's always a good supporter. So anyway, there's your winners. Mr. Osgood is first place, and he gets to pick and because you guys wanted to pick. And then Mr. Pruce is second place. And that's all I had on this. Um, however, the next two drawings I put up are going to be three um, premium pieces. You know, the ones I showed you, those... Uh, Aurora models and those NO64s. I'm waiting for the other ones to arrive today, hopefully. I'll put them back up here. We'll do another little roll on this thing and uh, go from there. It, it shows great. It looks great. But what I hate about when you got to stick paper across the back of, uh, say, wood and it's not super smooth is you, you always end up with a wrinkle somewhere you just can't get out. Like, you can't see it, but you can... 
well, no, no angle you're ever going to see, but I mean, from a certain angle, I can see a wrinkle at the top up there when the sun glares on it, a little bubble, and it just drives me bananas. But I don't, I was just pointing it out because when I seen it earlier, I, I touched it and I was like, ah, but you can't really, unless you got something almost super smooth that you can roll that out on, it just ain't going to happen. But anyway, um, there's those. Congratulations. I do got a package from Mr. Bruce. And I've got everybody else's packages in my trunk except two people. That's Cummings, Mr. Cummings, yours is out there. Mr. Fern C, yours is out there. Mr. Proust, yours is out there. Minnie Stangs, yours is out there. Aussie Al, I, I, I sent your stickers for the drawing. You, you entered this, yeah, you entered this drawing. Sorry, buddy, you didn't win. Um, I sent your stickers in an envelope. Hopefully they arrive. But the package, I got your package ready. Um, it's just some cars, the ones I've been saving for you. And, uh, but it, it's saying not validated. It won't validate your address. And, uh, so I, and so I don't want to send it to Australia unless we know for sure that's the correct address. Because it's, it's telling me not validated, may not make it. I don't want to buy the lay. I'm mean, probably going to cost me 30 bucks or more to ship it. I don't want to ship it to who knows where. So if you can, and I copied it right off the same one I sent the stickers to. So you can try to send me your address again. I can try to get it to validate it through my shipping service. And if it doesn't, it's a gamble. But I use that same address to send you your stickers. So if your stickers do arrive, um, then let me know and I'll go ahead and I'll ship it off to that to that address um, and hopefully it arrives. But uh, Mr. Ryan, Mark Ryan, oh my God, he had such a trouble. He finally got his package, but it was a pain in the... But I didn't know over there, a lot of you guys, I forget what he called it, but there was a shipping service over there and they don't even notify you. They came and tried to give it to him, didn't even tell him. And they were sending it back before he... He contacted him and found him and got it. And it was in Malaysia already and uh, got it sent back to him. But um, I, I forget the name of the shipping service, but he said some of you guys over there use that or, you know, that's a lot of service you're, uh, that's used over there. Um, DAI post and courier, please. Courier, please. Now, Mr. House, thanks for letting me know you did get your package. Um, and Mr. Spahar, I know you got yours. But um, Mark Ryan asked, do you guys, did you get yours through Courier, please? Via, via, yeah, via Courier, please. And D DAI post, whatever. But um, because that's what he had to deal with. And it was a nightmare. And he's over there, too. And uh, But he finally got it. But, um, so, so I, I need to make sure, and I didn't know, they don't notify them anything, nothing. My PayPal didn't notify them there was a package coming, nothing. And I didn't, because I didn't know. And at the time, I didn't know you could track it, because it gives you an oddball tracking number. But anyway, so now when I send something to you guys over there, I'm going to email you that number, because you can track it. You just get, you can't track it through USPS, you got to track it through, you know, Global Post Plus, like, through after ship on the is where i track it on on the website so mr cummings you should be able to track yours that way too um but anyway so thanks for letting me know mr house but yeah you or mr spahar did you use does, is that the courier that delivered to you because mark ryan had a heck of a deal and it was a real bummer because he won the camaro that you know anniversary camaro i didn't have another one i could send him and um so it was kind of a bummer but anyway that's that's done up and you so oh and curbs curbster oh kirby kirby curbs you must not have watched the whole video when you won the truck because i told you in that video i need your address and you didn't send me your address but that's so cool that's okay it's a long video i guess you got bored but anyway i need your address i went through all my files i can't find it and and <laughs> it makes me mad because usually when i buy okay when I when I do my shipping labels through my my PayPal after ship whatever, um, ship station I don't know something like that it keeps it okay, but every time they update, it it erases you. So in other words, when I say keep it, 
I could go to create a label, and as soon as I start putting your name in, or, you know, like, say, Alan, boom, it'll pop up every Alan I've ever done. Well, every time they update, I lose all that. So it's start over again. And so I usually screenshot you guys' labels so I can go back through my gallery and look for your label in case that happens. Well, I, dude, I don't know when's the last time I sent something to the old curbster because I went through my gallery and everything, and I can't find your address, buddy. So I need your address. Email me your address because I got a, I, I, I got a pretty good size. I know you just won a truck, but I got a pretty good size box coming to you. It looks like it's coming from Bass Pro, but it's got a lot of cars in there that you might want. I know you like older stuff and all. And that's another thing. Some of those cars in there are from you guys. So a lot of them are mine, but some of them are cars that you might have sent me that I feel like is going to waste that somebody else would rather have. So I've been giving those some of those away as well. But I know most every one of you said if you want to pass something on, pass it on. So... That, so if you happen to see somebody's video and you're like, hey, here's a video, mail call from Hewitt, so let's check it out. And a guy pulls out one of your cars. There you go. I'm letting you know now. I've, if I felt like it was going to waste, I haven't actually done, you know, I, you, you understand what I'm saying. I don't want it to just sit in a box, especially a guy like Curbs. He likes all cars, so you can't really give him something he ain't going to like. But anyway, I am, I'm going through so much stuff that, like I said, I passed on some cars, but most of them are mine. Most of them are cars that I just thought I wanted and I don't, and I've just been giving them away. So there's that. Um, and then, yeah, I can't even sit down, guys. I got, this sucks, man. I got... I hate telephones, man. Really sucks, though, because... And it's always spam. It's always some spam crap. I keep getting these calls about, we will help you pay off your student loan. Dude, I'm 58. I ain't got a student loan. But anyway, um, I'm just working like a dog, guys. I can't get nothing done. I get up and I'm up like 3.30 in the morning. I got to get to work. 4.35 o'clock rolls around. I'm, you know... <laughs> Already sweating my ass off and thinking to myself, when I get home, I'm doing this. I'm going to get the rest of that done. I'm going to get the rest of this done. I get home, 4.30, 5 o'clock. <laughs> I can't do shit. I sit down and I'm done. It's almost like if I could walk out of my shop building and go straight into here, I could probably keep working. But as soon as I get in my car, and which it, turn it on, it's like 102, 105, whatever, Crank it up, get the AC going, drive myself home. Because I don't drive to work in the AC. It'll just ruin my day. I just suffer from the time I leave my house. So when I get there, it's, it's I'm used to it. But by the time I get home, <laughs> I get out of the car. I can't hardly... I come in, sit down, get a glass of tea or something. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. There's no getting back up coming down here. It's like, God, I got to go do this. I got to go do this. But... <sighs> Some of you guys might be like this. I'm one of those guys that it just constantly bugs me in the back, like these packages I've needed to get done. And it'll depress me. It'll actually cause me stomach aches and everything because because uh, I'm I got to get it done. You know, I, mean, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. It'll annoy me until I get it done. And and right now, and I and these customs, I'll have something pop in my head I want to get done, and I can't because I'm still not back on my customs. It's just I got to get this done, guys. But constantly, and they don't know when. I'm going to be off overtime. They don't know when. You know, and, and so I just keep going to work, trying to come home every chance I get. Came home today and I've been down here. I got, I could finally move around in here, but most of my stuff's in boxes until I can get stuff rearranged. I've got to get all this down because I'm rearranging everything. There will be some different cars go up, but I got to change some things around. I still ain't got my other room done up so I can do my customs out there. So I'm still here, which will work fine if I can get all this mess cleaned up, but I've still got a disaster down here. Yeah, this was a mistake probably, but it needs to be done. So anyway, I hope to get back. I dream of just being able to get back to where I was, was just walk down here, nice and comfortable. Look at all the car, sit down in my chair, do some, do some custom work and just chill. 
I can't do that. Can't do it at all. And uh, it's just crazy. It's <laughs> anyway. And then the time just flies. You know, it's just boom. It's it just it's gone that quick. And I, I it feels like I got nowhere. But I am getting somewhere slowly. So anyway, there's that. Um again, curbs, I need your address. Um Aussie Al, see if you can verify your address again. If it don't take it when I try to put it in there and say validated, because a lot of times if it can't validate, it'll say you suggested. And I'll use the one they suggest. It's not even suggesting one for the address you gave me. So I don't know why or what's up with it, but it won't accept it. I'm not sending a package like that. You'll probably never get it. But now, like I said, I did send your stickers that to it. So if they arrive in the envelope for this drawing, well, I'll go ahead and take a chance to send the package because maybe it'll arrive. And uh, there goes the AC. Whew. Anyway, um, we'll get to Mr. Pruce's package. And again, guys, there's a lot I got to figure out. Once I get this done, I got cars to give away. I got you're just there's just so many different cars going in boxes to people that I'm just not going to need. I'm not going to use. I'm just I don't know. Mr. Harrison, your parent, your grandson's probably going to get some more because I have a I have some that may be more along a kid, you know, a kid be, would be happier to have them. But anyway, we'll get to that. And then, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or so, I saw a Mustang Hunter, one of his videos, and he had some stickers laying down there, and one of them was from Simple Man Mustang uh, Diecast, and it was a cool looking sticker. It's kind of like his channel logo, Mr. Hansen, Steve Hansen, and uh, um, I saw it, and I was like, dang, I didn't know he had stickers. I ain't got no sticker. And I commented and all, and then when I seen it, I, I seen that uh, Mustang Hunter had a sticker of his car, you know? And I was like, hey, I want one of them stickers. And he's like, I ain't got no more. So I guess I won't be getting one of those, but maybe he'll get some more. I don't know if he does. But anyway, it was a cool looking one too. So, but anyway, I reached out to old Steve, Mr. Hansen, and said, man, that's an awesome looking sticker. I'd like, I'd like to have one of those. And he sent me a couple right, on, right off the bat. Pretty cool. Here are a couple of my channel stickers. I don't have any channel content yet. Maybe someday. Yeah, do it, buddy. I mean, people love to look at them cars. And uh, plus, people like to know who, you know, they're talking to. But it don't matter. Whatever, it's up to you. But yeah, look at that sticker. I meant to show it last time and forgot. It was on the table behind me. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Little Cobra. Speedometer. pretty cool got two of them but right on I mean I wanted to show it last time and forgot it was behind me so there's that we got those wrapped up and now I got this box here from Mr. Bruce that we'll check out and uh, wrap this thing up and then, like I said always cut right towards your face and down your side like if you're over here like this cut right towards your side so if you slip it goes across your gut all right just a little friendly advice there anyway um yeah whatever i understand why a lot of people do that because of youtube but youtube just chaps my ass guys also you know i ain't getting into this politic crap i said what i had to say about that trump shooting last video and i was kind of pissed but it's getting all blown out of hand now, and I don't know what's going on, so I'm not jumping into the conspiracy things. Yes, it looks crazy, but I don't know. I ain't, I've been working. I ain't got time to research all that stuff. Plus, this is uh, he's saying this, he's saying that, she's saying that, she's saying that. I don't know. But I do know this. If that lady, that diversity hire, is qualified to be leading the Secret Service, well, I'm 5'9", 225 pounds, because it's muscle can't play basketball for shit i'm caucasian 58 but i believe i deserve a two million dollar contract minimum on the nba i mean after all this is diversity ain't it? ain't enough of us on there Ooh, sweet but uh anyway um yeah what chaps my ass about that is youtube there's some guys on there tony michaels uh podcast the dude is so full of shit he lies about everything to these leftist liberals just lies, 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 man. I mean, 
I'm not going to go on all this, but Proposition or you know Project 25 is not Trump's program. They're just pushing that everywhere, lying through their teeth, lying. And, and there's a there's a, a comment in there where Trump said he agreed with some of it. The rest of it is crazy. There's no way he'd do it. He ain't interested. But good luck to you. They leave that out every time because they're liars. They don't understand that. Most people have left their side because they're liars. And, and they'll turn on you in a dime. I mean, that's how they are, the Democrats. But anyway, they'll allow, YouTube will allow this guy to sit there and lie his ass off. But if, if <coughs> I try to say something, they'll flag my video and pull it down. Because like, I have another channel. All right? And I start talking shit about it, they'll flag me. They'll pull me right down. And I didn't do, I didn't, this guy... Anyway, that's what gets me about YouTube. They really burn me up when they pull that crap, but it's because they're part of that. They want that pushed. And this guy will lie about everything, man, and call names and everything, and and kick me out of his lives. Just period. I mean, it doesn't matter. And um, But that's wrong. That isn't... That's what's encouraging thing, this kind of stuff, is they're lying to everybody. You know, you see Joy Reid, that freak looking Trump hair wig wearing chick all these all these people are lying man and that's the problem with I mean it's one thing they all exaggerate both sides exaggerating but these people are flat out lying man and they know they're lying but anyway YouTube allows it this and it just irks me man but yeah I have been ignoring it because I I don't want to get sucked into <sighs> God, I'm just going to, this is why I don't answer phones, guys. Sorry. I'm just, I'll just need to bust that thing. I just need to bust it. That's what I need to do. Give me a second. Shut up. All right. Yeah, so I don't want to get sucked into all that Ooh, out there stuff. Anyway, look at this here. He sent me some, uh, dang, five of those GTO wagons. I actually have three now um, that I had. Look at that, five five more. That's eight now. Yeah, I don't see this car, guys. I don't see it. I mean, I'm, I guess what I'm saying is I've never seen the Pontiac custom wagon before. I don't, I've never, I don't have it in any car i mean that is just cool yeah i hope to do something with them a little later but even if nothing else they're just awesome so there's five of those right on more cars i got to figure out what to do with <laughs> and then looks like oh what is this new red editions oh those are a little older i got this one a long time ago hey that's a long time ago what year was that not sure but I got it a long time ago now I don't think I have these three if I do I don't recall it because I got a whole box of red editions and Zamax too that's cool some more red editions right on yeah I'll keep those because I did give away a bunch of mine so I don't know what all might be in there wow check that out haven't seen that 71, oh, they're older. 71 El Camino. Sweet. Look at that baby. It's an older model, 2013. And a Ranchero. I think he has sent me another Ranchero. Trucks Ranchero. Got it laying over there. That's sweet. That's an older one, too. Yeah, I put some. I separated a lot into a box that I want. That that I want to keep. Oh, check that out. South Bend Shaker. Studebaker Gasser. Don't have that. Yeah, I got a bunch of these in box still that I need to finish putting up there with the ones I've already got. I'll probably keep it like that since they're all stacked nice and neat and just run with it. But yeah, that's a cool one. That's another one. Super cool. Nice and straight, too. That's what you always got to watch out for, is they're... A lot of times they're not. 
Oh, what is this one? This one looks older. This is. I mean, dang, I, this has got to be before I was ever collecting them. I've never even seen this. 2010. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't collecting them back then. That's definitely older. 57 Chevy Bel Air. Well, Mr. Proust must have been collecting for a long time. Because he's got some old stuff. Damn, imagine the storage he has going on. Holy cow. What is that? Oh, dude, that is killer. I don't have that. I didn't know that was even out. Another funny car, Challenger, Penzoil. Look at that baby. Dang, that is sweet. I didn't even know that was out. I'm going over here right now. But I went there with my funny cars. That's awesome. These things are pretty handy. And we got, oh, check it out. Muscle Machines, Jesse James. 118 scale. I have some Jesse James, but they're 164. Check that out. I actually got the other ones you sent me right over here. I'm going to put this with them. That's several that you've already sent me. Wow, what do we got here? Premium Hot Wheels Mustang. I can't remember if I found this one. I think I did. see it over there. Maybe I didn't. I'm not sure I found that one. I thought I did. But I do have some premiums packed up too, so it may be packed up. But maybe I didn't. Nevertheless, got it now. Sweet. What we got here? Oh! <laughs> Terminator and Crow. Terminator. I thought I had a car from the Terminator, but maybe not. Check that out. That old cop car Terminator. It says 2024 on it, so this must be the one that just came out. This one I have, it looked, I thought I had one. It looked a little different. And then, uh, the Crow. The, uh, 84 Plymouth Grand Fury. I like the, I just keep buying the Lincoln. Every time I find that Lincoln, I grab them. I've been giving them away. Um, I got one for myself, but every time I find the others, I pass them on to you guys. So you, whoever's got one knows because you got it from me. <laughs> but uh, that Lincoln with the engine sticking out, it's just too cool, man. Um, yeah, this is cool. I never did grab this one, though. I guess I don't remember it either in the car. I don't really remember that car. But that don't mean nothing. Keep the bubble wrap. And ditch the box. I also got a couple other cars here. I got from House of Diecast. They're, they're special cars. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen them. But they're some um, kind of... Uh, thanks, Mr. Proust. Appreciate that. Once again, more cars, which you don't have to keep sending. But um, these are uh, CS Customs. They were just uh, a whole... I didn't get the whole set, but I got four of them. But, um, like, this is one of them. It's a Pontiac Firebird. Johnny Lightning. Pretty sweet looking. Um, but I got that one. I got the Mustang. Uh, CS Customs. And 
it had been a while. Like I said, I hate when I order stuff and forget. Then I got a zinger. I was collecting zingers for a while, but it was the... Uh, it ain't really one of my favorites, but it was one of the CS Customs limited edition Superbird. And uh, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And uh, the other one was the Camaro, which the one... I wanted the one with all the decals on it, but it was already sold out. It was the Gulf Camaro, but the one with all the decals is already sold out. I was like, dang it. I wanted the one with the decals, but uh, it was already gone. But I did grab that. But yeah, I got those four. Um, I didn't get any, I didn't have any actual. I did get some other cars, but they don't have them. And I, I, like I said, I probably don't plan on buying from House of Diecast anymore because they're the ones that like the cars I ordered, they were pop race and it was a big sale. I got them cheap. I was going to give some of them away. And, uh, I mean like $8 a piece. And I, and I have a feeling I know what's going to happen there. House of Diecast is going to do me the same way they did the last ones when I bought those, <coughs> uh, transports. They'll take care of the people that paid full price first. And then just tell me we didn't get enough and, and won't honor. I bought like six of them because they were so cheap. And then just not honor what you did to me, you know. Just refund me my money. And, and that's why I don't I don't plan on buying from House of Diecast anymore like that. I mean, if it's... if you and, and, and what sucks is it said it was there. It didn't say pre-order. It says it's a description in the, in the link. Ships July or uh, June, I believe it was. And, uh, and I bought it then. and But no, it didn't ship in June because they don't have it. And so, you know, so I don't, so I've been, and I haven't been buying from them unless they have it. Well, these they had in stock and I got those cheaper as well. And, uh, but it was all supposed to be in stock. But so I, luckily I got those. But yeah, I know what their their gimmick is. It'll just and once it goes off sale, they still have it. They'll sell it and then they'll fill those orders first for full price and then just tell me, just refund me. Oh, sorry, we we didn't have enough, which is a crock because you ain't supposed to sell more than you have. You know what I mean? You aren't supposed to sell more than you have. But anyway, and I guess I can't say positively that's what they're doing. But how else does it happen? What do you mean you didn't get, I mean, like the last time, well, we didn't get enough of those. Well, how the hell did you sell them if you didn't get enough of them? <coughs> no, I know what you did. But anyway, if they ever show up, we'll deal with that. So there we go, guys. Um, hopefully those cars come in today. I'll make a video later on. We'll put them up here and look at it. And yeah, that... um. This new cameraman, Samsung, look at that. This baby is like sweet. Um, another thing I noticed on it, I don't know if you guys know, but um, like, for example, here's my video. There's the vid last video I did. Okay, let me pause it. Um, but I didn't realize because it kept putting my I'm I'm in 2160 4K Ultra, and it's loading up on, when I go to my studio. That's what it processes. Um, but anyway, it'll automatically put me at. Let's see what it's got me at. Yeah, 480. It's playing at 480. Uh, it's playing at 480. See, now watch. I'm going to touch it. I'm going to go to advanced. What's that say up there? 2160. Touch it. It's now going to play at 2160. Otherwise, it won't let me to select it. So in a couple seconds. Oh, there, there I am. I'm ranting on it. But anyway, it'll just clear right up and just be perfect picture. But, uh. I know a lot of you guys probably already know that. I didn't know that. Alright? I didn't... They update stuff so much so all the time, I didn't know that. I, I thought, because I had it set 
And it, and it says, if you want all your videos to be this way, set it. Well, I did, but it doesn't matter. It automatically takes me right back to 480 or whatever the lowest setting is. And because I was looking at it, I was like, what's up with that picture? It should be better than that. So I, you know, I Googled, why is my picture? And then it told me, go into settings and blah, blah, blah. So I finally figured it out. But I just want to let you guys know in case you didn't know that. But yeah, um, and you saw, 2160, boom, and it came up. It And it wouldn't, some of the videos won't offer that. It won't go that high if it ain't loaded that high. So some of them stop at 720 and you can't, you can't get 1080 or nothing. But a lot of times I just pick 1080. Like my tablet, it won't load uh, 4K ultra high def like the phone will. So, but when I play back, I can still select uh, the highest one. When I load, I do try to load in uh, um, high def, but you know, it's just an old tablet apparently. I mean, and I just got it a couple years ago, but that's old. So anyway, um, those cars come in, I'll show them over there. I'll try to get them up on the sticker drawing, but that's, I've just been so busy guys. I can't get nothing done. Um, but I will, I'll get them up there. If I can get those other cars in, I'll show them and then I'll get them up there. It'll be two separate drawings. There's three cars per drawing. So pretty sweet cars too. Um, but, uh, I just, it's just hard, man. I got so much crap to do. But now I'm going to finish this up, check my mail, wait for those if they come, if they come at all, and uh, start going, trying to get the rest of this done. The sooner I can get this done, the sooner I can get set back down, get all this stuff cleared away, and uh, I could still be, I could get back to where I can work on my customs while I'm still trying to set that up out there, but at least I can sit here and work on my customs and um, go from there. But anyway, uh, I guess I'll let you guys go and um, talk to y'all later. Hopefully those cars come in. Congratulations on the winners. Mr. Osgood, let me know which one you want. Um, and this, I don't know if you noticed, but you see that? Came in that way. I mean, Mattel is not worried about keeping anything in good shape anymore. I mean, and I can't. I can't get it to straighten out, so I just, you know, whatever, man, whatever. Uh, and Black Wolf Customs, I haven't sent yours yet. I'm looking for something to send it with it to you. Send to you with it, but I don't know what to really send you. Um, I did see you wanted one of those trucks. I think I got your text while I was working yesterday. You wanted one of those trucks. I don't see you in the comments ever, so I don't know what messages you get and what you don't. Um, yeah, I, I, if you'd be number five, if I can get them, I'll try to get you one, but you'd be number five. And them suckers are like 35 bucks a piece plus shipping. So, but shipping is probably going to, they're going to be two in a box, I believe, unless they change it. So it's six ninety five. So you're looking at like 38, dang near 40 bucks for one of those trucks to be shipped to you. And, um, but yeah, you'd be number five if I can get them. And, um, uh, Oh, and like I said last time, the the cars I already bought from you, I don't need no extras, man. You don't have to worry about finding me extras. You can just send me what I paid you for. I'm not you got you don't have to worry about sending me all this extra stuff. I don't I don't need all that extra stuff. Um appreciate it, but I don't need it. Um so again, let me sign out. Curves, give me your address because I can't send this box off without it. And I think I wrapped up everybody else's stuff. So We'll go from there. Peace. Outro.